So I'm logged in as the administrator. Um, typically, your admin will want to install it at the system level if it's something that you're using across campus. Um, so I'll show you that part um, just real briefly. Um, I've actually already got it set up on this instance of Sakai, so we'll just kind of preview some of these settings. But um, when you go into the administrator workspace, there's an external tools um, tool that you can use to set up all sorts of LTI um, tools for your instance. Um, and so if you were installing a new one, you would go to this link and configure it. Um, I've already got it on here, so I'm just going to search for it. And let's see, we'll go to this one because I know I named it so I could find it. <laughs> With LTI at the end. Um, so when you install it, there's a bunch of different settings and I just want to call out a few of these because um, they're the ones that are sort of important to make sure that it, it works the way you want it to. So the tool title is what it's going to show up as in the list of tools that faculty choose from. So you just want to have it something that faculty will recognize. So if they know it, the tool is called Hypothesis, then um, that would be your tool title. That's kind of the generic name that's going to show up in the tool selection list. Um, but one setting that is important, and we found this out recently, it's really important to allow that tool title to be changed because that's what allows the instructor when they're creating an assignment in their course to change the title of the link so that it's um, a unique title for grading purposes. Um, so that makes it talk to your grade book correctly. Um, so you want to make sure that that's allowed. Um, now some of these other things are optional, like if you wanted a custom icon, if you want to let people change the icon, um, those are you know, up to your admin. Um, the button text is one that I usually allow people to change because again, you want to be, be able to modify that title so that it appears with the correct title when it shows up as a button. Um, the tool status would be enabled. Um, and this server, I have it stealth because I'm only using it in a couple of sites. So if it's something where you're rolling it out to just select people, you might want to stealth it and then just add it to those um, courses specifically in terms of um, you know making it available as opposed to having it just there for anyone to select. But if you're rolling it out um, to everyone at the institution, you can go ahead and make it visible for everybody and it'll show up in that tool list. Um, this information, the launch URL, the launch key, and the launch secret, those are all going to be provided to your institution by hypothesis. So you'll get that information from them and it's unique to your account. Uh, so that information will vary, you know, depending on your, your um, individual subscriptions. Um, Scrolling down a little bit, again, uh, there's a lot of settings in here, not all of them you need to worry about. Um, but I do uh, want to make sure that you check these um, send usernames uh, and send email addresses. That's how it knows you know, who the people are that are in the tool and can create those um, accounts. And you do want to, if you expect to grade it, you want to check these um, boxes next to the grade um, related items as well as the roster. So I usually just check all four of those things under services. Um, and um, this first box here, allow it to be launched as a link. Um, that's typically true, so that's a safe one to select. Some of these others you don't need to worry about too much, but this last one here, allow the tool to be one of the assessment types. This is actually a new thing that's in um, the newer uh, LTI changes that have just been implemented in Sakai. And if you select this option, particularly in Sakai 21 and up, um, it will actually let you make it an LTI assignment type using the assignment tool. Um, and I can show you that if you guys are interested. Right now, this server that I'm on is running 20x, so this is not um, Sakai 21 that we're looking at right now, but I, I did re record a short video clip that shows what it looks like in 21. I didn't want to trust uh, the, the QA server to not go down on me because they, they restarted about this time of day, so. Um, but Maybe anyway, if you yeah, could so uh, that, share the link are, to that video, Wilma, um, then people could take a look at it in their free time. Yeah, I haven't uploaded it yet. Okay, <laughs> so we can, we can I can eat. share it out afterward. Um, well, we can we can distribute it to everybody. 
we'll email everybody who registered and so we can we can share mm -hmm. it. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. I can do that. Um, so uh, launching in a pop up, usually I will let that be something that people can change because sometimes people like to have it launch in its own window so that you get just the um, the editor, you know, or just the annotator. Um, sometimes people prefer to see it framed in assignments or wherever else they are in the course. So I usually leave that up to the instructor and allow that to be changed. Um, the rest of the items you don't have to worry about. You don't need to worry about LTI 1.3. Um, so those are all the settings that are really important when you're setting it up from the admin um, area. Now, once it is set up, um, then individual um, instructors will be able to just select it when they choose um, when they choose a tool or when they um, install something. And actually, you know what? Let me just I'm going to make it unstealthed so I can show you guys what that looks like in the list. Thanks. This is really helpful, Wilma. Um, just this kind of like basic walkthrough, especially because you know Stakai so well. It's been so long since I've actually worked on, with it day to day that I fumble around a lot more. So I really appreciate this. No problem. All right. So now that I've made it unstealth, this makes it available for anyone to select and um, I'm going to go into a course here. Um, so you would find it in site info. Um, this is where you choose the tools that you want in your course. So if you go into manage tools here, um, any L LTI tools that have been installed system wide like that will show up under external tools. So you can see there it is, the Hypothesis LTI, and I've got it in here a couple different ways because I was testing some stuff, but um, so you, it would appear here. Uh, some of our clients actually like the LTI tools to appear in this upper list, and that can be done with some properties settings that would be specific to that institution. So that's a minor thing that we could customize for you if you prefer to see it in this list up here. Um, otherwise, it just shows up under this. Um, expandable list of external tools. So once you've selected it, if you select it here, what it does is it places it in the sidebar of the course. So it's going to show up over in the navigation menu. So that's one way to add it, um, is you can have it be one of your tools over here on the side. So you'll see this one, the external tool. Um, this is one that was added in that manner. Um, that's usually not the preferred way, though. Most people prefer to add it in lessons. So um, if you go to lessons, that's where um, people will typically put the assignment right within the flow of their content. Um, so there is an external tool here as well. So when you add content here and you choose to add external tool, um, you'll see any external tools that are already set up. And you can choose the one that you want. And here is where I can change those settings that I left allow editing. Um, so I want to call this, um, let's call it, I don't know, um, report. And I don't want to debug it. That's just for testing purposes. I'm going to let it open in the frame. I'm not going to launch in a pop-up, but I can always change that if I choose. So uh, let me go ahead and just pop that in there. So then it's going to take me back to my lesson page and I see my link to the hypothesis assignment. And if I click here, it's going to you know, take me right into that setup process. So this is where you would select the web page or PDF that you want to annotate. Um, now you can currently select from Google Drive or you can enter a URL. Um, so if you wanted to use an, an item that's in resources, you can do that by pasting in the URL of the resource. Um, so if you actually select something from resources in your course, uh, I probably should have had the resources tool active in this course. I didn't think about that ahead of time. Um, let me just turn it on real quick. All right, so resources is where you upload your files in Sakai. 
All right, so here's, here's some files that are already in resources. And I'm just going to look to see. Um, okay, you want to make sure if it's something that you're sharing across courses, which is what I'm doing right now, that it's something that's public. If it's within the site, the people in that site should have access um, already because they have rights to see it in the course. But I'm making this one public because I'm sharing across courses. Um, so if you go in to edit the details for an item, you can grab the URL here, and this will allow you to link it in Hypothesis. So if I go back to that report that I was working with, and that was on my lessons page. So I go in here, and I'm going to paste in the URL that I got from resources. So then it places that item here um, and allows folks to go in and an annotate on top of it. Now what we would like to do in partnership with Hypothesis is make it so that you don't have to go find that URL. You can just browse and select. Um, so we want to make that not a pain point <laughs> that you have to go and you know copy and paste. Um, so that's kind of on the roadmap. Um, we're not there yet, but that is something that we want to to work on making much more smooth so that instead of just the two options that you'd have a third option to browse and resources and select from there. Um, but that's how you would add it on a lesson page. And then um, the, uh, the other place that you can add it in um, Sakai 21, as I mentioned, is within an assignment.